my name is Katie or KB Does Art and today I think I'm gonna walk you guys through how to make a pizza. What's funny is I've actually done this tutorial before but I think I found a better way of doing it and so I'm gonna redo it um, because we love to see improvement. Um, I think like my last pizza wasn't like smooth so now we're going to make like a smooth pizza, you know, how, how pizzas should be. So um, I think I'm just going to start this from a cylinder. I'm pretty sure I did a, uh, I don't even know what I started from last time. I think I did a cylinder, but I didn't do as many slices or something like that. But that'll actually be the first thing we change. So grab a cylinder and then uh, over in subdivisions, let's see, a pizza is usually what? Like eight to like 12. Okay, eight seems like a little small. Okay, 12 seems fine. So let's do 12 divisions. That should be good. Um, if you press three, you'll see how it's kind of like bending over. That's a good thing. We want our pizza to do that because the dough is potentially rounded. So we're gonna try and preserve that but I think I'm gonna first just add in a multi-cut. So grab your multi-cut tool. How I did that super quick like transition here is if you hold shift and then right click and then drag over to multi-cut, you can grab that. And then how to make a middle click is you're just gonna hold control and you'll get this fancy little ring. Uh, if you just left click, it'll make like a line. But if you middle click, then it'll go right in the middle of wherever you are you know, putting that line. So you're just going to uh, hold control and then middle click to get a, a line. And then I think let's click Q and then go to object mode. And I think I'm going to, yeah, we're going to change the scale a little bit, but let's go to the front view. Let's grab the vertex, grab the top vertices, push W and move them down. And then I'm going to grab the bottom ones and do the same. But for the bottom ones, I think I want to bring them up closer. Because, like, technically the dough, like, it is round. But the whole thing's not round. You know, like, the pizza's still flat on the bottom. So I think I want to try and create this, like, round yet, like, flat on the bottom kind of kind of idea. So... Yeah, that's our crust so far. So let's go into face mode, click Q. Make sure you click somewhere off of your object or else you'll have your vertices selected. I'm gonna hold tab and select those faces and then do control E to extrude them. And then I'm gonna offset them probably to like about there. Also, I'm feeling like this object is so small. So just go into object mode and let's just scale it up because I'm kind of annoyed with that all right oh my gosh it looks like a block of cheese right now like we've made a successful block of cheese <laughs> okay so um next thing I want to do is obviously this pizza is way too big uh so let's go into the front view uh you can get there by pushing space and then select the top vertices click w and we're gonna just you know, just, just move them down like that. All right. And that seems pretty good. Next, let's go to face mode, click Q, select these faces. And I think I want to extrude them and then click W and move them down. <laughs> it looks so funny. Okay, so one thing we're going to need to make sure we do is... Actually, I think I could change that here. So if you click R and then scale them up. Okay, let's get our multi-cut tool. And I'm just going to make a, a middle cut here like that. All right, so now we're gonna make our pieces. So I want you to double click on each of these, hold shift and double click. You're gonna grab each of these lines. Oh, not that one. Each of these lines should be the bottom two. Then you're gonna do control B to bevel it and do two depth and make the fraction like the smallest it can be. And then grab, oh, click Q, grab a multi-cut. 
multi-cut tool. There we go. And hold control and middle click on each of these guys to get that middle group. Perfect. And then click Q and select each of these edges. Again, double clicking them, holding shift. If you accidentally select a line, just hit control or hold control and re-click that line to get rid of it. All right, once we've got them all, you're just gonna click R and uh, just scale them. Obviously don't scale them like a ton. Um, looks pretty good though. Just like a light scaling, a light pull. You can also um, like sc scrunch the uh, top one to like literally change the division a little bit more to like make it deeper or um, yeah. Cause if you scale the like big one in the center, that'll change how the um, pull of this looks. So maybe just, just scale this to get the divisions a little bit better. Um, all right, let's see how that's looking. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. That's kind of like a short and sweet pizza. I wanted to kind of make a video. So I, I feel like my last one was like really blocky. So I wanted, I think my last one looked like this, where it was like a block. <laughs> so that that's a kind of a easier tutorial and just like how to make a pizza look like a, a pizza rather. Um, but also like, obviously if you want to go on and like add toppings and stuff, that's a whole different, um, you know, a whole different conversation. <laughs> um, if you do add toppings, you'll have to be mindful of how um, wherever these cuts are made, technically your toppings should be cut through as well. I don't know. We might. But um, yeah, that's it. It's just a quick little tutorial on how to make like a simple little pizza. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I think now at this point in the tutorial, I think I'll just go through and add some like super basic color. Um, if you want to put color on your model, this is what I would do. Um, so if you don't need to add color, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Um, all right. So now for color, what I would go ahead and just do first, let's select everything and do assign new material, do shader, AI standard surface. And then I'm going to make this like the crusty, the crust, maybe not like that brown, maybe like that. Yeah. And then, uh, oh wait. Let's go to Arnold, grab a sky dome light. There we go. Um, and then let's go to the top and just like click and drag like this. Oh, well obviously go to face mode and then click and drag like that just to get like majority. And then go ahead and just like double click. Let's see, was that actually the top? Oh, okay, you don't need the bottom because obviously the bottom is the same as our crust. Uh, but this is the part that I want you to texture. So just make sure you didn't get any um, that you're not supposed to get. Yeah, that looks good. Actually, I wonder if. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So you're going to assign a new material to this one. And you can do AI standard surface. And then under color. Um, let's, sure, let's, let's grab leather and then I'm going to up the cell size and I want to change the color to be like cheese color. So usually there's like a, like a white cheese and like a brown or like an orangey cheese that they throw on. Right? Something like that. <laughs> okay. And then let's go to Arnold and then render. <laughs> the cheese looks so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, let's mess around with cell size a little bit. Maybe we make the cell size. Or it might be even a density issue. Uh, maybe. There we go. Just make it like insane. Let's throw the randomness up too so it's a little different. 
do the same with spottiness. Oh, interesting. Let's also, um, I kind of like this texture. So why don't we on our other texture, um, let's do that too. But maybe grab granite instead because granite I feel like is a little bit more like a, I don't know. I don't know how to describe what I think of granite. I think it's like, it, it feels more like bread to me. Like it has little like chunks and particles in it, you know, that I'm like, oh, it looks like bread. But like, obviously it's not, it's not bread. So I don't know. <laughs> it gets a little weird. Oh, I love how cartoonish this is. It's so fun. Let's also go to poly, uh, poly modeling and grab a plane and just like scale it up and then do assign new material, shader, AI standard surface, do the same checker. Uh, but this time I want you to grab the actual checker just to like have something for our little pizza to sit on. All right, that looks so cute. Oh my gosh. If I was to add a little pepperoni, I would like grab a cylinder, just like click three, assign a new material to it. And then I would do like do the same like granite texture, but you can like make it all salami colored oh my gosh hold on i love this make this one like dark make this one like a vibrant like full salami color yes just a little piece and then obviously like if you choose to like put them on the pizza um, you'll have to watch for like clipping and stuff. And then you'd also probably have to like click whatever edge is on the pizza slice and like click R and like scale it in, you know, to give it that like cut effect. Obviously that's, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but, um, if I was to do it, you know, that's what I would do. Not saying you should do it, but if you were to do it, uh, I would love to see what you came up with. If I had all the time in the world, I would spend hours and hours making a little salami pizza, a little pepperoni pizza. Um, all right, I guess that's a, sorry, I'm like obsessed with making this, like bent in if I wanted to. <laughs> All right, so this is what I would do um, if you were making actual like pieces on your pepperoni. Um, I would literally make a salami piece that looked like this with a cut in it, and then literally just like duplicate that piece, move it, let's say over here, rotate it. Okay, don't rotate it like that. <laughs> rotate it, and then just like line it up. And just do that maybe on like every other one. Let's try. We could throw one here. Only thing is like obviously my line is like right down the smack middle of the uh, salami piece. So like that's a little unrealistic because like obviously at not every piece is like smack dab in the middle all the time. All right. Um, but you would do the exact same process of like, you'd add a middle cut and then you would, um, you know, or, uh, you would bevel the edge and then you would add a multi-cut and then, um, you would just scale them down and make them, you know, even that's what, that's what I would go for. But yeah. Okay. I should stop. <laughs> All right. Um, sweet. I added a couple little pepperoni slices. Um,
But yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I would love to hear whatever you guys came up with for this cute little pizza project. So um, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you guys and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye guys.